Thanks. Well, we are learning more tonight about the young man who shot and killed his estranged wife and her boyfriend before turning the gun on himself. Robert Sprinkle was the gunman in the double murder-suicide that happened near the University of South Alabama earlier this week. Tonight, one of his close friends is speaking out. Local 15's Jasmine Williams joins us now. Jasmine, this tragedy difficult for anyone to understand, including Sprinkle's friends. Very true, Greg. And as we continue to learn more about this tragic incident, Sprinkle's close friend wants you to know her loved one was not a monster. BJ, Robert Sprinkle, he's not a murderer. Cassie Holmes knew Robert BJ Sprinkle for most of her life. He was more like family than a friend. He was a very gentle and kind-hearted person who wanted to do nothing but make people laugh. Not the man she heard about on Tuesday morning. Three people are dead after shooting it near the University of South Alabama. The guy she grew up with was the person who pulled the trigger at the campus quarters apartments, killing his estranged wife, her boyfriend, and then himself. It's a very confusing story. Um, there's just a lot that people didn't know. She says Sprinkle's marriage with China Barber was rocky and ended up in a love triangle that turned deadly. She says behind his horrific actions was a lonely man, a broken marriage, and a person Cassie will always love. I will never look at him in any other way than I always have, you know, my entire life knowing him um, as one of the most gentle and kind-hearted people that I have ever met in my life. And one thing Cassie wants people to remember is that there are three families mourning tonight, and she doesn't want anyone to place blame. Greg, back to you. Jasmine, thanks. Now, one of the victims in that deadly shooting will be laid to rest tomorrow. China Barber was an English major on a full scholarship at USA. School officials announced today a new creative writing award that will honor China. Visitation is from 1.30 until 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at Hillcrest Baptist Church. A memorial service will follow immediately after.